Yo, what's up guys, Sandeep here, and today I'll be sharing my TCS interview experience as a React developer. I get the interview around two to three weeks back, and uh, I'll be sharing the interview questions today. So let's get right into the questions. So uh, do note that is, this was uh, for two plus years of experience. So yeah, so there, actually there was three rounds. So first one was the technical, second one was the managerial, and third one was the HR round. So in the round one, which was the technical itself, it was because just because it was a React developer, uh, so or the front end developer role. So uh, all of the questions are there based on the JavaScript React. Uh, so that's that. So first question, the interviewer asked me, uh, she asked me about advantages and disadvantages of React. Uh, then what is the entry point of the React application? What is a higher order component? And have you written a higher order component by yourself in your project? Uh, yeah, so and the next question was explain the context API on react and when will you use it context API and also there was one question attached to it um, for this question itself, which was what is prop drilling and how do you handle it? So basically the interviewer was asking about prop drilling and the solution to the prop drilling, which was the context API and let's was uh, next question was how do you handle api calls normally on your react application it can be axios you can be fetch whatever you use so i used axios so i said axios in that uh, now next question after right after the api handle api calls was came like suppose you have to chain multiple api calls and the previous api uh, like the current api call uh, is dependent uh, request is dependent on the previous api calls response then how will you handle it so this was the question that you need to think and answer or maybe whatever you have done in your projects you can write uh, like tell the interviewer based on that uh that's uh, the seventh question that came was like how do you optimize a react application uh like uh, in general code level performance and uh, how do you optimize using uh, web pack so yeah so this was the chained question that came through for this uh, optimization of setup react application i said mostly about lazy loading uh, like uh, using pure components and stuff more stuff like that so there was a couple of chained questions based on this next question was what are, what is pure component just because i said her like uh, pure component and so that's why she countered me with a question with what is pure component and how do you implement the same on a functional component itself because just because pure component is like a class based component or like stateless component or something and uh, and you need to do that using hooks in in functional components so you have use memo i mean you you can use react.memo which will mm, perform the same thing as a pure component so, mm, yeah. So the next question set of questions was uh, explain controlled and uncontrolled components that you use and explain uh, with a set of example where did you use or the use cases of that uh, redux questions on uh, like red users actions and state and why red user is called a pure like a pure stateless function itself uh, so why it should be pure, uh, state uh, like uh, what do you call it? it's like what why it should be pure in a, it's like a PO function and won't return any like do, won't even compute anything by itself. It should return a value. Why is red user called that? And something around that line question was there for actions. You need to specify like she asked me about how do you do the whole workflow of the reducer? I mean, uh, like Redux and then countered me with questions on red users. Uh, how do you avoid mutating an array uh, when performing an operation? Uh, here she asked me a different variation of question. I, I don't exactly remember all of them, but uh, the question was along all of this line, like how do you mu uh, avoid mutating an array, like an original array. Now the next question was like explain this keyword with the co like a concept of arrow functions and a normal function itself. So this is pretty easy. You can explain two, three points on that. Uh, what, what do you mean by even bubbling and how do you, how do you like handle it? Uh, so if you want to stop it, how do you do that? Yeah, you can just revise. You can get this thing also like uh, event bubbling. And next was like, uh, can you tell me what are the ES6 features that you have used in your project? So I like uh, said 
four to five years feature features that I've been using in my projects. And she countered me with few questions around those ESX features. So you can study that well. Now, next question came up with like, can you tell me the difference between map filter and for each? Now, how is map different from for each? And what do you do in a filter? So you need to prepare all set of questions on counter questions. Uh, between all this map filter for each slice splice all the array methods and something along that line So yeah, it can be anything now next set of question last was the deep copy and shallow copy And I won't say this is the last because there were few other questions as well But I don't exactly remember what are the perfect set of questions was but these were the main questions that have been asked Explain deep copy and shallow copy differences. Can you can you can you build a deep copy? using a spread operator. So how do you build a deep copy using a spread operator? So this was the, uh, she told me to code it somewhere, like uh, a deep copy variation of an uh, like a empty array. So yeah, so these were the set of questions on the technical round itself. I miss few of them because I don't exactly remember, but these were the main questions. So if you're, if you're planning to interview for any thesis interview, I hope this will help you this set of question or any interview in general. So I'll be bringing more interviews like this. Uh, I hope this will help you in your interview journey. Thanks for watching and goodbye.